Hi, I'm Kevin Oslowski with C3 Controls. In order to make this information easier to digest, we have broken the basics of motor starters into a few videos. Motor starters is one of the major inventions for motor control applications. As the name suggests, a starter is an electrical device which controls the power for starting an electric motor. These electrical devices are also used for the purpose of stopping, reversing, and protecting motors. The two major components of a starter are a contactor and an overload relay. The main function of the contactor is to control the electrical current to the motor. A contactor can make or break power to the circuit. Overheating and drawing too much current can cause the motor to burn out and become practically useless. Overload relays prevent this from happening and protect the motor from any potential danger. A starter is assembly of these two components which allows to turn on or off electrical motor or motor controlled equipment. The starter also provides the necessary overload protection to the circuit. So what are the types of motor starters? Well, there are several types of motor starters. However, the two most basic types of these electrical devices are the manual motor starter and the magnetic motor starter. Manual starters are devices that are operated, well, of course, manually. These starters are extremely easy and straightforward to operate and do not require expert intervention. The starter includes a button or rotary knob, which enables a user to turn the connected equipment on or off. The button features mechanical linkages which make the contacts open or close, starting or stopping the motor. Manual starters deliver a safe and economical operation. They are compact in size, which makes them suitable for a wide range of applications. They provide overload protection to the motor, protecting it from any potential damage, and they come with a vast choice of enclosures. The initial cost of a manual starter is low, making them a preferred choice over other types of starters. As I said earlier, the second most basic type of starter is the magnetic motor starter. These starters are operated electromagnetically, which means that the motor load connected to the motor starter is typically started and stopped using a lower and safer voltage than the motor voltage. Just like the other motor starters, the magnetic starter also has an electrical contactor and an overload relay to protect the device from excess current or overheating. There are two circuits in a motor starter, a power circuit and a control circuit. The power circuit connects the line to the motor. It provides a transmission of electricity through the starter contacts, the overload relay, and then to the motor. The motor current is carried by the power or main contacts of the contactor. A control circuit operates the contactor to turn it on or off. The contactor main contacts are responsible for allowing or interrupting the flow of current to the motor. To do this, the contacts in the control circuit are either open or closed. The control circuit energizes the contactor coil, which creates an electromagnetic field. The power contacts are pulled by this electromagnetic field to the closed position. This completes the circuit between the motor and the line. This way, remote operation is made possible by the control circuit. The control circuit can be wired in two ways. The first way, and the most widely used method, is referred to the two-wire method. A maintained contact of pilot device, such as a push button, a presence sensor, a thermostat, or a float switch, is used in the two-wire method of wiring the circuit. The second way, known as the three-wire method, uses a holding circuit contact and a momentarily contact pilot device. The control circuit gets its power from one of three ways. One, common control. This type of control is when the power source of the control circuit is the same as the motor. Number two, separate control. This is the most popular type of control. As the name suggests, the control circuit derives power from a separate source. Generally, the power derived is lower in voltage as compared with the motor's power source. Now number three is called transformer control. And as the name suggests, the control circuit derives power from a control circuit transformer. Generally, the power derived is lower in voltage as compared to the motor's power source. So, what are the types of magnetic motor starters? Well, depending on how they are connected in the circuit, there are many types of magnetic motor starters, such as direct online, rotor resistance, stator resistance, auto transformer, and the star delta starter. Today, motor starters are used on a large scale due to their long list of beneficial features. Here are just a few of those features. Well, they safely facilitate the starting and stopping of an electric motor, of course. The starters are rated by power, horsepower or kilowatts, and current, meaning amperes, to properly match the motor. They provide the necessary overload protection to the motor, and they offer remote on-off control. And these devices allow you to make and break current rapidly for plugging and jogging. There are four fundamental functions a starter has to perform. The first one is control. The second is short circuit protection, the third is overload protection, and the fourth is disconnecting and braking. 
Now there are many factors involved in the standards and the ratings for motor starters, such as thermal current, continuous current, motor voltage and power. Starters must conform to the standards and ratings from Underwriters Laboratories, or UL, the Canadian Standards Association, or CSA, the International Electrotechnical Commission, or IEC, and finally, the National Electrical Manufacturer Association, or NEMA. C3 controls specialize in IEC. There are other parameters that are important to consider while selecting motor starters, such as time limit acceleration, current line acceleration, control voltage, the number of poles, and operating temperature. We will cover those in a future video. Now, we hope this video has given you a good basic understanding of motor starters. For more information, download the companion white paper at c3controls.com forward slash blog. Thank you and have a great day from C3 Controls.